Hey everyone, so um, I decided to continue with the Master of Paris bandages that we were using in the last workshop and also called Mod Rock and you can get it in Chemist. So if you did buy a roll of it for the last workshop, you should have plenty left to continue. So I'm going to go and look at some easier ways of doing it today. You can see I've been very busy here. There's my walking men and I've also made little creatures. So this is like a giraffe. He's been fully covered with the model. And here's its mother. Parent. Okay. And I also did a cat based on Alberto Giacometti's sculpture of a cat. So you can see it's really long, elongated form at the back of the cat. And um, also before I show you um, how to make something like this. So this is perfect for the smaller audience because there's less things to worry about. I'm going to show you using sticks rather than just the pen foil. Um, but also to say, I've also made this little piece here. And this is a couple of little birds on a twig. So I found a twig in the garden, a little piece of wood as its base. I made the birds using the exact same technique with the um, mod rock tin foil and masking tape. I've put a little piece of wire inside the bird's body so that it can be wrapped to the branch. And the reason why I'm showing you this is at the minute, there's lots of people that we haven't been able to see. Maybe your grandparents, you haven't seen them in a while, and your aunties, uncles, cousins. So. This is a nice way of actually making something for them. And if you can see, I can take, I've drilled a hole in this little piece of wood. I can just pull out the twig. I've got a big envelope. It's carefully going to go into the envelope. In with the base. In with your letter, I'm going to post to my friend that I haven't seen before. So it might be a good idea to make something really small, be very light to post and it should be fine. So let's get started on making our small giraffe. Right, so to start making your giraffe, just need your barbecue sticks and your tin foil and I've cut down the tin foil into small pieces like that and all I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on making this part of the giraffe so this little body part here so very very simply you just take your tin foil and scrunch it into a little ball shape like that. I'm going to compress the tin foil so it becomes a little bit stronger and then Fill it up slightly with a little bit more of your tin foil. So I'm just wrapping this first piece around with another piece of tin foil like that. Just spend a few minutes getting this shape to your liking. So I want to make this little guy quite small, so I'm going to keep it quite neat like that. Okay, so I have a small little ball. Then what you want to do is you want to get your barbecue skewers. So all I've done is I have some skewers here and I've three, I've cut them down to be a bit shorter. So those three are cut to size, so, size. so this is the last piece that I'm going to cut. So I just measure it off to two like that. Take a pair of scissors and just chop it off. So you've got your four barbecue skewers. Now you can see that I've kept my skewers with the pointy side. So I have this pointy side. The reason for this is you're going to use the pointy side of the skewer to push through your tin foil ball like this, okay? So I'm just pushing it in, goes in very, very easily. So all the younger boys and girls will be well able to do this. You might need a little bit of help cutting the skewer, but then you might. So I have my four skewers in. And you can just test that he can stand level, okay? Like that. And then the final skewer I have a little bit longer, which is going to form the neck, okay? So it just avoids having to roll up all that tin foil and 
This is actually nice and strong, and little hands can manage this. So I've got my longer piece of skewer, I'm going to punch it in like that, okay? So there we have the base of the giraffe. Now obviously we're going to be make building a little head, so I'm going to take another piece of tin foil, I'm folding it down to start off like that, because I want to wrap part of it around this neck so that it stays intact, okay? So I'm going to just wrap it around at the top, like that, nice and tightly. And then this piece, you just fold it down. If you have too much tin foil, you can cut it off. I might just cut a little bit off. Okay, so we've taken the neck out, and we're going to just fold it down like that. And you're, you're just looking like for the silhouette. You're not looking to put in much detail. So you have just the idea of a head. Just put a little bit of masking tape where the tin foil joins the sticks. So that way the head is completely sturdy and connected. And I'm going to do the same for each of my legs. Okay, so turning your little giraffe's body upside down, you're just wrapping in the masking tapes from around the stick and onto your silver. So I'm going to do that with all four legs. Okay, so I have given my giraffe a really good uh, covering with all of the masking tape. It's really, really, really solid now. And when I was putting my masking tape on, I was really pressing it down nice and tightly as well, just to make sure um, it got stronger as I went along. So you can see the joints are all done like that, completely covered. And now this little guy is ready for a covering of the mod rocks. I'm going to prepare my mod rock and uh, we'll start covering it. So I've started covering the giraffe. Um, if you saw the last workshop, the mod rock I've cut down into strips, dip it into the water like that, and you just let it sit along the form and very carefully rub it with your finger until all the little holes disappear. That means you've activated the plaster and it'll dry hard. And for the next piece of mod rock, you'll place it on overlapping the last piece. So you build it up in layers like and you start to a really strong shape. Okay, so I'm going to just continue covering the drop. Okay, so I think this might be the last piece I put on. I've given him of coats of the mud rock and it's just about finished. And what we're going to do then is we are going to leave them to dry. I like to leave them to dry overnight because it just means all the moisture is gone out from them and they're ready for painting, spraying, even colouring in. You can even colour these guys in with oil pastels. So that's it, fully covered baby giraffe. This one here is dry. <laughs> I'm getting carried away with all my giraffes. And then I have also given, whoops, this guy a coating of model. So I let him dry tonight as well, along with the rest of the family. I also did a little bird with uh, wire in it so I'm not sure what I'll do with that but I decided just to make it while I had the mess started just make my little bird let him dry so we leave them overnight let them dry out and work on them again tomorrow it's 
the next day everything has had the night to dry out so the little giraffe family lovely and solid completely dried out you could actually play with these you could make a whole little farmyard of animals if you wanted to and I also decided to trim down the base of my cat this was the cat that was done inspired by the cat by Alberto Giacometti so what I did was I cut down the card a bit more and also covered it with the mud rock so I actually did that this morning so it's not ready for spray or anything like that but I do like that piece left white so I might just leave it. This morning I was out and it was very very windy and when it's really windy in the parks lots of branches are always blown off the trees and I always notice that the branches are really gorgeous the ones that are blown off the trees because they're usually covered in lichens and moss and they're all old and gnarly so I might use a few of these branches when I have my bird sprayed I might use um, one of these branches to um, wind the wire that's embedded in the bird around the branch and that'll be another piece so I'll go outside now fingers crossed it doesn't rain and that the wind stays calm and I'm going to spray the work. Well, <clears throat> that was eventful. Had it all set up outside and started to headstone. So, so anyway, got them sprayed. They all look fine. Um, give you a little close up there of the baby giraffe looking quite splendid and now typical sun is out again so I will take them out to the garden take some photographs of them you might look at the shadows remember we looked at the shadows before from the walking man so they do make interesting shadows as well I also put my little bird onto a branch like that so I'll find somewhere to put that and photograph it and that's it so i hope you enjoyed the workshop i hope you will go out and explore and make wonderful creations for us all to see and please do send your photographs into direct we'd love to share them with everyone bye